Today we're doing the 6 decibel antenna mod on the Spectrum DX7S. Hope you guys can follow along. Ask any questions in the comments. Now we're going to be taking off all the screws from the back of the Spectrum DX7S controller. And I'm trying to unplug uh, the rubber the rubber grips that are on it. You got to pop out the little pop out those little rubber. There you go. We only take it off on one side so that, that way we can split the controller in half. And it's still attached on the other side. And this is the internals. Well, this is just a voiceover. Uh, these are the parts, part numbers right there. This is the antenna that we ended up getting for the mod for the DX7S. Uh, we're doing two mods today. I think we're just going to film one and then uh, my buddy AM Drone is going to put his on his channel. So right now we're going to switch the antennas. All right. And here we're going to try to, well, in order for me to unscrew, to take that screw out from the antenna, there's a black screw underneath uh, what's holding in this plastic piece. Yep, pop the chip out. All right, now that we got the chip out, we got full access to that screw. Be gentle with that chip when you're pulling it out. It's pretty much the RX for your control. Uh, right now we're unscrewing. Tidy righty, lefty loosey. And pretty much loose already now. Let's pop this off. It's yeah. almost, there you go. Slides off as simple as that. And you, know, you may want to save this for later. old technology. Okay. Aww. Damn, we could use the same shit. Pretty much. And... <laughs> I rigged it. Yeah. I, it's, it just got a clip of wire. That's pretty much garbage already. Yep, yep. Yeah. There you go. Basically, this keep is that, done. and we'll toss the antenna. Done with. Alright, we're gonna keep the bottom oh. part of the antenna to try to <laughs> rig something <laughs> to put onto it afterwards. So this should work fine uh, with as stock, you know, with all the stock gear, at least using the internals. All right, uh, what I wound up doing was uh, heating the plastic part, you know, the the black plastic part that goes on the top where the antenna goes, uh, there's the inside part and then there's the external part that's the long antenna. Well, the inside part, I wound up heating it a little bit and uh, basically opening, reaming open the, the hole a little bit just so that I can place the RPMA, SMA, the, the, ad the adapter there. Um, pretty much heated up. A little and just kind of mm -hmm. push it in you know and just to kind of like mold it into shape yeah. a little bit you don't want to make it on fire you don't want to deteriorate the plastic completely you just want to warm it up a little so there you go that's awesome dude so pretty much uh simple as that we're plugging in the chip again and just sped this up a little bit. This is just trying to get the wire wrapped up and plugged right back into the RX. Make sure everything, actually the TX, sorry. I keep saying RX, I mean TX. All right, that's connected and bam. Should be, all right, there you go. Wrong. 
That's very important. Yeah, I almost forgot this one. <laughs> Two for boof. All right, now what we're doing here is just adding a little heat to the plastic. We're adding, I mean, the minimal amount of heat that you can possibly add to the to the plastic part, because we're trying to engulf the you know the metal piece with the plastic. We're trying to sink it in and wrap that plastic around the top lip of the metal. And, uh, well, this is the way I did it. You guys don't got to do it this way. You can go ahead and bypass this step. You could use epoxy, glue it in place, do whatever you want. I want it to look more professional, and this, this will work. Get it in there. Now we're going to heat this up again and basically squeeze it over it um, with a needle nose plier right about now the homie EM drones is helping me out with the camera uh, while I'm heating this piece up and trying to mold the plastic around the top part of the lip as I had suggested earlier um, it's just a matter of just trying to heat up that plastic a little bit and just kind of push it over the lip. Don't let it catch fire now. Like that. If you can use a flathead screwdriver, it might work better. This was pretty much what I was just trying to use. A little bit of heat. Don't heat the metal. Remember that. You heat the metal, you can burn your finger. Kind of like probably what I'm doing right now. Wow, look at how dusty one is. Alright guys, so we got a dusty controller here. Not cool. After heating it up, grab the washers and uh, supplies that it came with and screw that part on top. And now you have a secure fit, boy. Tighten it up. Alright, so for the final step for the antenna mod, what we're going to do is grab some heat shrink and well, grab some heat shrink and the heat shrink that we're going to be using is this one. Alright. So, what we're going to do is size it up so that it pretty much covers the existing open space which if you see here I'm oh, sorry I'm trying to get let let you guys see that you can see the wire well the the antenna wire you can see it from inside here but 
I don't know why you can't see it right now. It's a pain in the ass. Edit that out. All right, so pretty much you slide this over this piece as is, and you help squeeze, fit it onto the bottom one all the way down so that your job is pretty much done here. Now all you need to do is add some heat, which we'll do that right now. Be careful not to light yourself on fire. Mod complete. And we got a nice little finish. Looks nice. Bam. Big old antenna mod. All right.